The politics of private equity have come to the fore of the presidential campaign. Today, the president's reelection team kept up its attacks on Mitt Romney's role at Bain Capital. He's talking about he's better qualified to be president because of his business experience. So look, he raised it. So let's take a look at his business experience. Vice President Biden joined the fray in questioning Mitt Romney's private sector background today. One day after President Obama made it clear he believes it's fair to examine Romney's tenure at the private equity firm Bain Capital. If your main argument for how to grow the economy is I knew how to make a lot of money for investors, then you're missing what this job is about. The president defended a television ad released by his campaign last week featuring interviews with former employees at a Kansas City steel mill that Bain Capital acquired. They made as much money off it as they could and they closed it down. They filed for bankruptcy without any concern for the families or the communities. It was like a vampire. It came in and sucked the life out of us. But the ad's focus, portraying Romney as a corporate raider, has drawn fire even among the president's own supporters. Newark Mayor Cory Booker added to the storm on Sunday's Meet the Press. This kind of stuff is nauseating to me on both sides. It's nauseating to the American public. Enough is enough. Stop attacking private equities. The Still Romney camp story. released its own web video response last week, touting Bain's role in bankrolling another steel company, SDI. I think there's a lot of pride in what we've built out here. But SDI almost never got started. When others shied away, Mitt Romney's private sector leadership team stepped in. Building a dream with over 6,000 employees today. Have you had enough of President Obama's attacks on free enterprise? His own key supporters have. And yesterday came another Romney web ad using Booker's comments and those of former Democratic Congressman Harold Ford and former Obama administration auto czar Stephen Ratner, all in defense of Bain. On MSNBC last night, Booker said that was unfair. And so here they are plucking sound bites out of that interview uh, to be to manipulate them in a cynical manner, to use them for their own uh, for their own purposes. But in his now, remarks yesterday, now. President Obama defended Booker and, and said so, Romney's business record was fair repeat, game. This is not a distraction. This is what this campaign is going to be about. Is what is a strategy for us to move this country forward in a way where everybody can succeed. And a new Washington Post ABC News poll out today shows that voters agree. 52 percent of those asked cited the economy as the single most important issue this election. But 54 percent said Romney's work with Bain was not a major factor. When asked which candidate they would trust to do a better job handling the economy, a virtual dead heat. 46 percent chose President Obama, 47 percent Governor Romney. Romney has not addressed the issue of his time at Bain directly in recent days, but in a conference call, Romney advisor, former New Hampshire Governor John Sununu, said the Bain record as a whole is fair game. I think what you have to do is an honest evaluation. This is not the first time Romney's been attacked on his Bain record. Mitt Romney became CEO of Bain Capital the day the company was formed. They fire people, they cut benefits, they sell assets. Romney faced similar criticism during the Republican primaries from a super PAC backing Newt Gingrich. So is the Bain campaign push a wise political strategy for the president? And how will the Romney camp respond if the attacks keep up? Well, to debate all this, we're joined by Jim Talent. He's a former senator from Missouri and a top advisor to Mitt Romney. And Ted Strickland, the former governor of Ohio and a fellow at Harvard's Institute of Politics. Gentlemen, we thank you both for being with us. Senator Talent, to you first. The Romney camp is saying it's fair game uh, to talk about about his record at Bain Capital. So what is it in these ads that is off base? Well, they're false and misleading attacks on private equity and basically an attempt to distract the voters from uh, the failed economic policies of the Obama administration and the condition of the country. I mean, we've 
had unemployment above 8% for longer than the Great Depression, and the president doesn't want to talk about his policies, and so they're launching these, these attacks on, on private equity and free enterprise, and, and they're misleading. And, of course, that's what a number of Democrats have been saying in the last few days. What is it, just quickly, Senator Talent, what is it that's false about what the ads say? Well, first of all, I mean, the one, one ad attacked uh, Governor Romney for the closure of a steel plant uh, that occurred two years after he left Bain Capital. But more broadly speaking, I mean, firms that invest in distressed companies can't save them all. It's like doctors can't save all their patients. But on, on balance, uh, uh, Bain under Governor Romney created well over 100,000 jobs, which is certainly more than have been created in the Obama administration because we're down over 500,000 over the last three and a half years. Governor Strickland, how do you respond to that? Well, I, I say to my friend Jim Talent, those are good talking points, but uh, the reality is when President Obama became uh, the president, the month he took the oath of office, this country had lost almost 800,000 jobs. He's not responsible for that. And he's not attacking uh, private equity, and he's not attacking free enterprise. He's simply attacking uh, what uh, Rick Perry called vulture capitalism, where uh, uh, investors get really, really rich by buying companies, loading them up with debt, uh, driving them into bankruptcy, taking away um, jobs and pensions and health care from workers. But uh, Mitt Romney and his associates at Bain Capital walked away with multiple millions of dollars. That's what the president's talking about, and this is not a distraction. This is going to be the central part of the, of the campaign, as it ought to be. And Which of these two well, candidates well, Judy, uh, has demonstrated a concern for working people? And uh, uh, well, my contention is that uh, Mitt Romney has looked out for his investors, but he hasn't really cared for the workers. Well, let me, and, and well, Senator Ju Talent, Ju that there are workers who are quoted in these ads, Senator Talent, who are saying some of the same things that Governor Strickland just said. No, uh, Judy, first of all, the investors in Bain Capital were largely pension funds, so the people who benefited from it were teachers and policemen and, and firefighters and, uh, and retirees. But look, the, the, the White House knows the way private equity works. There's, there's a reason Ted's argument is basically uh, with people like Mark Warner and Steve Ratner, who was the White House's auto czar. At the time, by the way, the GM was closing dealerships in order to fix the companies with Cory Booker. It's with our old colleague, Harold Ford, Jr., who've all criticized the ads, and many of them defended Bain Capital's record as very strong, very successful, and very ethical, because it had a strong record of creating jobs. That's why the firm is successful. Okay. Four startup companies alone, Steel Dynamics, uh, Bright Horizons, Staples, and Sports Authority, created over 100,000 mm -hmm. jobs. And, Ted, we have lost uh, a net of at least 500,000 jobs on, uh, on President Obama's watch. Governor Strickland, what about that and, and uh, these other Democrats he, he mentioned uh, who uh, have said that what's, uh, the, the line of attack in these ads is not fair? Well, quite frankly, uh, uh, the president came to power uh, with a, a horrendous economic set of circumstances. He is rebuilding this economy. He's doing it uh, the right way by focusing on the middle class. He's investing in education and our infrastructure, and he's trying to put forth programs that will benefit small business. The fact is that this president has been stopped by the Congress uh, every time he's tried to take positive action. But in spite of that, the economy is getting better. The economy in Ohio today is much healthier because the president saved the auto industry because manufacturing is coming back, living wage jobs are being created. And uh, so the president is the one who has a program to move the country forward, Judy. Uh, Mitt Romney is trying to use his experience as a, a venture capitalist as the justification for being president. He doesn't talk a lot about his, uh, his experience and his record as governor. Uh, he, he was not a successful governor. Um, Michigan ended up, I think, being 37th in the nation in terms well, of job creation. Well, let me stop you there. Let me just well, stop Judy, you there because Judy, I want to come back to I, Senator Talent. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Judy, look, the, the, the problem isn't that Congress didn't give the president what he wanted. The, the problem is that they did. And they, he got the stimulus plan, well, which he won't even talk about now, got Obamacare. And to say that this economy is being rebuilt, I mean, I have to tell you, uh, at medium income in the United States down $4,300. People are working harder and harder than ever before and barely staying in place. 
mean, the unemployment rate has effectively not gone down from where it was at the peak of the recession. The only reason it's it's gone Senator, technically from 10 percent to 8 percent is so many people are discouraged and have quit work. Senator, I mean, this economy is not getting better, and the president's policies are the reason. Senator Talon, just quickly, I did look again at what the mm. president said yesterday. He said, yes, private equity is a, has a healthy role to play in the free market. He said that's part of what a lot of business people do. He, he talked right. about the role of private equity and identifying capacity in the economy to create new jobs. But he said the role of a president is to look after the economic health of the whole community, the whole country, and not just of a company, which is what a, it would, would, would take place in, well, in a venture capital deal. Let's, let's, uh, Judy, let's tell the people at Solyndra that. Uh, tell the people at Evergreen Solar. I mean, the, the, the Department of Energy's inspector general, and he's a non-political appointee, found that billions of dollars were channeled uh, to companies that have been started by politicians who were friends of the president. So the president's looked after those companies pretty well. Look, th these are attacks, misleading attacks, on basically on private equity. That's how Harold Ford saw it, our old colleague, Steve Ratner, now Mark Warner, and I think there are going to be more Democrats coming forward because these attacks are so unfair and so misleading. Governor Strickland, the president's focus here on economic fairness, yeah. is that a wise thing for the president to be, to be doing Abs in this campaign? Absolutely. Who doesn't believe in fairness? And the fact is that the president has not attacked free enterprise. He's not attacked venture capitalism. He has attacked Mitt Romney's assertion that he should be president because he made a lot of money for himself and his investors. And the president was absolutely correct. The president's job is to look out for all Americans, not just the investor class. And the fact is that this president took a horrendous situation. Now, Mitt Romney wants to take us back to the Bush policies that led to this recession. And as Bill Clinton said, he wants to do it on steroids. We've got to move forward, not backward. The president is leading. He is, he's laying out a solid foundation. And all we need now is for this Congress to get behind him, to cut taxes for small business, as he's trying to do, and uh, to invest in our infrastructure, to expand health care to our people. The president has a plan. Mitt Romney wants to go back to the Bush era strategies, and that's a disaster for this country. Gentlemen, we are going to leave it there. Former Senator Jim Talent, former Governor Ted Strickland, thank you both.